video today, we're going to be reviewing one of the main concepts that we learned about in grade 9, which is the equations of lines. To start our review, let's look at the two ways in which we learned how to properly write the equation of a line. The first way is standard form, which we can recognize as ax plus by plus c equals 0. Now, there are three different rules in which we need to follow to properly write an equation of a line in standard form. For the first rule, I'm going to let my good friend Beyonce remind you that everything has to be to the left, to the left. That's right. Make sure you move everything to the left. And the order in which we do it matters. The x term, then the y term, the number by itself, and then equals zero. Secondly, the number in front of the x term must be positive. This is referred to as the a value. If it's not positive, we can multiply the entire equation by a negative one and change all of the signs. Lastly, standard form cannot have any fractions or decimals. If there are, we will need to multiply the equation by some number to get rid of those fractions or decimals. The second way we know how to write an equation of a line is in slope y-intercept form, or we would refer to it as y equals mx plus b form. In y equals mx plus b form, we can easily see two things. The first is the slope, which is re represented by the m value, and the other thing is the y-intercept, which is represented by the b value. Okay. Let's take a look at some examples on how to write lines in standard form, given various forms of information. The first example gives us a slope of our line of negative 2 fifths and a y-intercept of 7. This leads us immediately to think of y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b, remember, gives us the slope for m, and the b value is our y-intercept. That's exactly what we're given in this question. So let's write our equation in slope y-intercept form, and then we'll convert it into standard form. Simply replace the m and b values with our slope and our y-intercept. So we'll have y equals our slope of negative 2 fifths x plus our y-intercept of 7, so plus 7. The first rule of converting this to standard form is to make sure that everything is to the left. So we'll move this 2 fifths x, or actually negative 2 fifths x, over to the left side. And when we do that, we need to make sure we change the sign. So this becomes positive 2 fifths x when it changes sides. The y value is already on the left, so we're going to keep it there, and it's positive on the left, so it means plus y. And then we also need to move this positive 7. We're going to move the positive 7 over to the left, and when that happens, it becomes negative. So we have minus 7, and we're left with nothing on the right side, or 0. Rule number 2 is to make sure we have everything in the right order. x term, y term number by itself, and then equals zero. I made sure that when I moved everything to the left, we moved it over in the right order. Finally, for standard form, we can't have any fractions or decimals. Because we have this fraction of 2 fifths, we need to find a number in which we can multiply the entire equation by to get rid of that fraction. When we did linear systems, we saw that we could actually multiply the entire equation by the lowest common multiple for the denominators. And since there's only one fraction, 5 happens to be the lowest common multiple. So let's take this entire equation, and we're going to multiply it by 5. We'll have 5 times 2 fifths x plus 5 times y minus 5 times 7. And that will equal 0. These 5's end up cancelling, and we're just left with 2x plus 5y, and 5 times 7 is 35, so minus 35 equals 0. And that is our equation in standard form.
Here's example number two. Now we're given a slope of six, but instead of a y-intercept, we're given a point in which the line goes through, the point two, four. Again, it might be useful to start with y equals mx plus b. And let's insert the things that we know. We are given our slope, that's our m value. We're also given a point that the line goes through. This 2, 4 is represented as x, y. So we can actually insert that where we see x and y in our equation. Notice that the only thing we don't have is the y-intercept. So we're going to solve for that first. Let's replace the y, m, and x with all the numbers that were given in the equation. Our y value here for the point was 4. Our slope was 6. Our x value is 2. I'm going to put in brackets here because these are multiplying. But we don't know the b value, so I'm going to keep that as plus b. 6 times 2 is 12, so we have 4 equals 12 plus b. And we now want to isolate for b. So we're going to get b by itself by leaving it on the right side and moving this positive 12 over to the left. It will become negative, and we're left with 4 minus 12 equals b, or b equals negative 8. Now that we know the y-intercept, we can replace it back into our y equals mx plus b equation. We're going to keep the slope in there, 6, and now put the b value of negative 8. So y equals 6x minus 8. This is now our equation in slope y-intercept form. But we also want it in standard form. So let's just move everything to the left and write it in the proper order. The 6x will move over to the left, negative 6x. The y value is still positive, and the 8 will move over to the left as well, turning positive. Everything's in the correct order, but we need to make sure that the a value in front of the x term, this negative 6, it has to be positive. So we're going to multiply everything in the equation by negative 1 or just change the sign of everything. 6x minus y minus 8 equals 0. And that is our equation in standard form. Here's one final example. We're given two points in which our line goes through. The points negative 2, 4, and the point 5, negative 8. In this case, we, we want to use y equals mx plus b as our starting point we aren't given the y-intercept or the m-value, which is our slope. But we know we can find the slope because we have that equation. Slope equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. If we say that the point negative 2, 4 is our point 1, we can say this is the x1 and the y1. And 5, negative 8 is our second point, so this is x2, y2. So let's put that in our slope formula, and we'll solve for what our slope is. y2 is negative 8, y1 is 4, so minus 4. x2 is 5, and x1 is negative 2. So remember, that's minus negative 2. Negative 8 subtract 4, that's negative 12. 5 subtract negative, subtract negative means plus, so 5 plus 2, that's 7. And our slope ends up being negative 12 over 7. Let's put that in our y equals mx plus b equation. m is negative 12 over 7, x plus b. We're now in the same situation in which we were in for our second example. We're given a slope now, negative 12 over 7, and we actually have two points in which to work with. We're going to pick one of those points that we want to work with, and we're going to substitute it in where x and y go. Let's pick the point 
negative 2, 4. Those numbers just seem smaller to me, so let's use those. The y value is 4. The negative 12 over 7 is already there. And our x value is negative 2, so let's substitute that in. And our goal here is to now solve for b. Negative 12 over 7 times negative 2. Remember, when you multiply a whole number times a fraction, the whole number multiplies to the numerator. So negative 12 times negative 2 is 24. So we're going to have 24 sevenths plus b. We'll move the 24 sevenths over to the left. So 4 minus 24 sevenths equals b. Well, how do we figure out what 4 subtract 24 sevenths is? We'll need a common denominator. And the common denominator will be 7. So to change 4 into a fraction with a common denominator of 7, we'll need to multiply the 4 by 7 as well. So this is going to become 28 sevenths minus 24 sevenths, because 4 times 7 is 28, equals b. And 28 sevenths minus 24 sevenths is 4 sevenths. So we're left with 4 sevenths equals b. Our y-intercept is 4 sevenths. All right, let's put our slope and our y-intercept into our y equals mx plus b form. So we have y equals negative 12 sevenths x plus 4 sevenths. To get this into standard form, we're going to move everything to the left. So positive 12 sevenths x plus y minus 4 sevenths equals 0. The a value is positive, and our last step is we need to get rid of the fractions. So multiply everything by 7, since our two fractions have a denominator of 7. 12 sevenths x times 7 will just cancel the 7s, and we'll be left with 12x. 7 times y is 7y. And 7 times negative 4 sevenths, again, the sevens will cancel, and we're left with just this negative 4. We are going to multiply 7 to the other side as well, but 0 times 7 is just 0, so it can stay 0. And here's our final equation in standard form, 12x plus 7y minus 4. So remember, when doing these questions and trying to find the equations of lines, put it into y equals mx plus b form first. Find your slope, and use another point that you're given to plug into x and y. Solve for your y-intercept, and then rearrange everything into standard form. It's my name, it's on the back. So come move your bags, let me call you a cab. Standing in the front yard.